clickety clackers i'm here with sleepy and today a good old kevin cash has sent a letter for uh we'll say um we'll say a friend to come where are these chairs where did i put the chairs down to say uh, here they are we will sit here and wait for our friend to show up well i see him out there hello there you coming to mess with American capitalism, starting a war that I will finish. Fuck. <laughs> All right, let's get this over with, you megalomaniac. Megalomaniac? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm actually a very, very good genius. Not, not that genius like a group of morons. Not like Jack's brother level of genius. You know, not Eddie. I don't know if you've met him, but I figured out the yeah, way. I, I figured out a way to cheat the American system. So. I have literal centillions of dollar pools of money. The U.S. Treasury, fodder to me. And this here you wonderful. are trying, thinking that you're going to be able to launch an investigation under my nose, mind you, in a government program that I pay for, thinking I'm not going to discover it. Let me ask you a question. Go right ahead, Thumper. I believe your name is. I don't if really you had care. A very nice rat living in your pantry and every now and then he nibbled at food what would you do i'd kill the rat exactly. rats aren't allowed in my house i'm too upper class for that you may be cut from a higher cloth but you'll have the same grave oh will i i uh, will see about that. thanks to the technology supporting me from a very interesting extraterrestrial dimensional alien person that satari thing Sa yeah satari and i believe he calls himself who even knows with his insane mind that i found a way to not only cheat capitalism but cheat death itself well i can assume you didn't call me here just to chat no i called you here to tell you to uh, drop your investigation on me and that it's a matter of personal security of the entire planet so Cease your actions. Personal security for the entire planet. That's right. I know you're a drug lord. I oh. know you got your money through suspicious ways. I got my money ways. through everything. I may be a drug lord, yes. I can't exactly I, tell my colleagues about you. I also run legitimate businesses, like orphanages and hospitals. Yes, but you also sell weapons and drugs well, I don't and help overthrow small countries. What small countries? Those re revolutions wars never happened. I made sure of it. Just trust me. I can't exactly tell the CIA everything about you because that would go against what those morons are doing in there and they're a much bigger threat to this world than you are at this current point in time those morons are you referring to the abnormal containment team you know the people yes. who literally keep our planet safe by destroying every single minute of it minute you mean bit anyway our planet is fine and still alive because of jackson biff or whatever the hell he calls himself just say Terrence, it's easier. Listen, I had to... F How do you know about that? I didn't spend three billion dollars to get give that Edward kid technology to change his entire body just so you could call him Terrence. His name's Biff, and you better learn how to use it. His name's Terrence. His name He was. belongs in a lab in the Antarctic. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It cost me a lot of money sending those insurgents to raid that place. Yeah. Well, it's money well spent, huh? I'm surprised you didn't ask about that. I didn't have to. You knew I sent insurgent? Well, the entire CIA doesn't seem to know yet. You seem to be here more well informed than the rest of them. I seem to be here because you called me here. Because you're investigating me. Because you're a nuisance. I'm not a nuisance. I am the richest person possibly in the entire world and I am using my money to do good things you should be thanking me look I can't necessarily put a gun to your head and tell you to stop your actions that would be foolish of me but what I can do is tell you this right now you're low on the radar for me 
those mongoloids wielding literal rocket launchers that have nukes on the end of them are a much bigger threat. Ah, uh, the you. Davy Crockett. Took me years to get Edward the funding for that. Actually, no, it didn't. I was just like taking a little piss, but that's not the point. Needless to say, no matter what you can say or do, it's nothing compared to what those idiots are capable of. Yes, and but if the someone's point is going to, and if someone's going to rein them in and make sure they don't cause millions of dollars worth of property damage and basically destroy money, the I can pay and fix. Congratulations, but if you're bankrolling them for everything, eventually there's going to come a time where you're not going to be able to afford it. I have infinite pools of money. How do you enough think? How do you think enough. I was rich Their as debts hell? Pile up each and every fucking but day. How do you I've think? How do you think I keep? I haven't lost my money yet. If you think they can pull guns out of there, what do you? Where do you think all my money is coming from? I don't know, and it's not my job to right now. Exactly. So, you're never going to catch Jack, by the way. I don't know what you're doing, or what this little clone CIA crap is about, but Jack isn't someone... None of the Satarians are anyone you want to deal with, because what's going on is bigger than your pathetic minds can understand. In 1975, a CIA operative team, codenamed Exodus Black, was capable of traversing the worlds of dimensions. We were capable of interdimensional travel. And? We've gazed into dimensions far beyond what we were supposed to be able to see. Dimensions yeah. beyond Satari or Earth or anything like this. I don't think... If you th think there's something I haven't seen yet, something I haven't been witness to, I can assure you that you're wrong. You know, Exodus Black didn't f create that technology. It didn't come from Earth. You just weaponized someone else's technology. You don't even Point know where it is. came from, but Jack does. And that's why you shouldn't be messing with him. Or Biff. Or that's any, why you or shouldn't be intervening with them. I'm the Interacting one. with them is breeding destruction. I've kept them under control for the most part. You've been doing a great job at that. They've nuked several thousands of cities. If they wanted to, they could just blow up the entire planet at this point, and they haven't, have they? They seem quite content. How do you know that they won't? Because I've become their friend. And if anything goes wrong, we'll just have the chips do their work. You're giving them a scorched earth to play with. Oh, I'm giving them real that. that. The utility of your actions. Because pretty soon, one of the three or four of them is going to snap. There's four of them now? There might be. I'm not sure. Last I checked, there was only Jack, Eddie, and Biff, unless you count their family. I count their family. I've seen his wife in combat firsthand. Yeah, she's pretty it's... impressive. She's... strange. She took out almost an entire fleet of Combine once I was there to witness it, with her bare hands. Yes. Also, Jack's afraid of her, so, I mean, she she's the real link. Like person. She's the link you should be going after. She just snaps her fingers and Jack cucks for her. Jack is terrified of her. He's in love man, with her, but he's terrified of her. In your position, you have the power and the authority to use them as a guiding hand for civilization. Which I have tried, but one of them seems to have slight mental issues, and by one I mean both of them, both of the active members. Eddie kind of just sits around, he's not really a threat to the Earth, but your little government play project is doing God knows what well. The hooded one is setting off nukes. I need you to understand the futility of your actions. You have the ability, the authority, and the power to use them as a tool for restoring order and safety to humanity. I'm not going to force their will upon the rest of the world. You don't have to. I've just been protecting them from... I. What do you mean I have the power? I've literally wielded them against demon monsters that have been infesting our planet. I literally molded them into the abnormal containment team. Before, they were just running around doing God knows what. You have the most powerful super soldiers known to man. You can control them. 
and you decide when and where they attack. And it's not like I attack other countries or anything. I've upheld democracy. Sure, much a lot a lot of my money is dirty, but sometimes you gotta dabble in the wrong spots. If you know, break a few eggs to make an omelet. There's a fine line between safety and I can't get through to you. Nothing I say is going to break through that thick skull of yours. Tell me something, Agent. How did you become the man you were? Why do you ask? No, just please, indulge me. Tell me about your backstory, and then we'll see whose skull is thick and who's out of their proportion. Did your mother die in childbirth, Agent? Did your father no. get rid of all your money and teach you that the only thing this entire world cares about is a dollar bill? Did you watch your grandfather die in your deathbed basically begging you to restore your family's wealth? Did your wife die only to be brought back by some hooded strange man you've never met in response to, Oh hey, I need a place to stay? Did you figure out how to completely cheat America's capitalist system for personal gain? No. So don't compare yourself to me or tell me that you have a, th I have a thick skull or whatever because you're never going to understand what any of us have been through. Not me, not definitely not those things. Yet here you are, Mr. Little Happy Agent, with his pathetic little life and his pathetic little dreams, thinking that you're somehow the big tough social butterfly, like, guardian angel, whatever. You are messing with things you don't understand, and I advise you to stay out of them. I was born in a small town in Pennsylvania in 1975 to a loving... The hell? Life Didn't you say you were 47? Father. That doesn't make any sense. Is that 47 years ago? Wait. No, it wasn't. But making up your age on the fly is a lot easier. 75? Than... You're old. That was 40 years to 20, 2005, wasn't it? No, that was 30 years. You're almost, you're like 50-something. It's not important. Old man. Yes, sure, I am an old. I was born in 1975 to a loving wife and husband. I was the only child. My father was a mechanic and my mother was a waitress. We scraped by for a living. And that was it. Ah. I was raised as a Marine son. My father enlisted in the service around 20, 23. Not the date, the age. Yeah. He did not come back from his first tour of duty. My mother was heartbroken. I promised her that I would avenge my father's death, so as soon as I could, I signed up for the U.S. Marine Corps. I was stationed in several posts, but I never went off to fight in any true war because I had a specific heart condition that denied me service. Once I had the chance, I enlisted in the CIA as a simple intern and then a secretary, making my way up to the political ladder to an agent. I was a man of God, I had a loving wife. I adopted a daughter, and I had a happy family and a life of blissful ignorance. Then I got assigned to your degenerate friend's case. In that mission, I saw things no human man should ever be forced to see. No human being should ever be forced to be submitted to. Not only did he shatter my faith, but he killed me multiple times, brought me back from the dead showed me the horrors of the world that I had been blinded to and showed how little he cared for society around him. If you think for one goddamn moment that I don't consider that shit a threat to the entirety of Earth, then you're thick-headed and nearsighted. There is a monster that you won't understand that and Jack, Biff, and Eddie are our best hope against. The things I have witnessed will never make sense. You hadn't even known about any of this until you saw Jack. Expeditious Black, whatever who you pronounce it, I don't even remember. 
that team was funded by my grandfather. Well, one of my grandfathers, it doesn't matter. Before our wealth was destroyed by my father and I had to gain it back through dirty means. The things I know about far, far outstretch the things you'll ever understand. So Here's don't lecture to Crash. me what I should be doing, Rick. I don't have to think about them. And I Faith and Anna won't have to worry about it either. How's Bertram doing? Bertram's fine. Him and his husband, Enrique, kind of went on a little vacation a little bit ago. Funny. He wasn't seen with his husband in Cabo. Yeah, well, Bertram believe. asked if he could go see him, and I said yes, and then I came out to see your pathetic excuse of an agent. If you let this break you to the point where you think that Jack and Biff are the biggest threats to humanity over giant cartoon demons and giant things with sirens for head, then I think it's time you reevaluate your life. Mr. Cash, I want you to understand that we have known about these entities for quite a while. What we didn't know was a megalomaniac with mental issues. Impulsive insanity, he calls it. The power to obliterate literal goddamn planets. A sociopath with a history of violence shows up randomly out of the blue, shoots me in the fucking head, and brings me back to life. He didn't show up out of the blue. I have extensive research on Jack's backstory, That's and I understand great. all of it. No one else did. Why? Would the CIA like some? I can tell you any questions you have about him right here. I have all the answers. Oh, please, give them. That's not important right now. What's Ex important is that you understand the threat level. These small monsters, sirens with heads, cartoon demon cats, I can understand how to beat those things. We've done it before without their help. What I can't understand is a man who wields a gun that takes the life out of everything it touches and another man who wields a gun that banishes things to a dimension none of us know about except for him. Well, I mean, him, his friends understand it. Jack refers to it as the void, the realm outside yes. of space. I've heard it many a times. I've also heard them argue over which football team is better and I've heard them argue about why Eddie should get a job. And I don't understand it, because they're morons. But the point I'm trying to make here, Mr. Cash, is that deep down, as an agent of the CIA and as a citizen of the United States, it is my moral obligation and my duty to monitor these people in case they ever become a threat. They are a threat, but they're also the key to protecting the Earth. That's wonderful. You but said it yourself. Are. I have the power to control them. The money, are, to anyway. The f there are far greater things at play here, Mr. Cash, than you or me. Far greater things than Biff. Far greater things than Jack. Far greater things than any of us are able to see. I know, but Jack and Biff are aware. Well, Jack is. Jack seems to. Ever since he showed up here, he's been rambling about some god thing terrifies him and if you think he's the most powerful being you're afraid of what he can do maybe we should be afraid of what he's afraid of then let's not bicker amongst ourselves and work on the real problem whatever that thing is yeah fixing his pr main problems he's an insane maniac I'll give you that but one who is under my funding and one I can fix the damages of as of now no one, no innocent lives have been lost that haven't been saved or salvaged you're toying with gods Mr. Cash toying. take it from a man who was a devout Christian until he had his eyes open we'll say when you invoke a god's wrath, there is nothing that stops him from taking control. Maybe sooner there are later, mental issues. Yes, sooner or later, one of them will snap. See, the problem is, what you don't realize is I have faith in humanity and in them. You see them as threats, but they're not bad people. They're just insane. They, if they were bad people, they wouldn't be do go out there risking everything to save a petty planet that's not even there. Well, it's Biff's, but in Jack's case, it's not even his. 
He wasn't raised here. He didn't show up here until he was 23. Yes, after Yeah, he here he is protecting like people, guard, saving and children. Stabbing his father. Yeah, his father, who was a monster. Someone who beat his mother to death right in front of him. All I can tell you, Mr. Cash, I can't force you to do anything. And apparently my suggestions and my thoughts on the matter go right through you. So I will give you this piece of advice. When the time comes, and the time will come, we will need to cast aside all of our differences and focus on the bigger threat. Of CIA, course. the U.S. government have a lot more power at our disposal than a lot of people know about. Than As even do you I. know about. I have well, my moles. Yes. But you don't have the moles required to get into us, we'll say. What I need you to understand, Mr. Cash, is that I will not stop investigating you, but that does not mean that I am your enemy. I'm pretty sure you trying to get me arrested makes you my enemy. Not trying to get you arrested, but trying to understand your motives. My motive is to protect the damn planet and keep a psychotic psycho in a gray hoodie and his bet friend, who's also a psycho in a brown trench coat, from killing everyone. I'm not stupid enough to believe just that, Mr. Cash. I've been on this earth for a far lot longer than you have. Did you peer into the abyss? Did you see what I yes. saw? Did and you the see the thing? Peered back. Did you see what made Jack and Biff afraid? I saw the face of death. I saw the face of a god who cares only for destruction. There is nothing that they haven't shown me that I haven't been scarred by. They know more than you. They know they more do. than me. They and do the know. the only thing that can save us is them. I understand that. But that doesn't stop them from being a threat. The ma person we should be talking to is Edward. He seems to know more than everyone in the entire cosmos, as far as I've seen. Then why are we here? Because Edward isn't a very reliable source. Ever since he's come to Earth and discovered the great marijuana, he's become a weed-addicted pothead. Do you hear that? Hear what? I heard someone running. Come on out! I'm with the CIA. I'm not here to harm you. I, just I know am. Where you are. That's wonderful, yes. Because that's a great idea. Where? Oh, the man's dead. Oh, shit! Zombie. Fucking zombies. I don't know when to die. Jack calls it a Type 6. I don't know. I don't understand the typing of these things. If they die, it depends on how many times you have to put them down. I'm sure this might be a Type 1. No, it's still moving, so it's definitely not Type 1. See, if it, if you put it down, right? Once it's dead, it's dead. That's a Type 1. If it gets back up and you have to kill it again, that's a Type 2, and so on. Uh... I think, I think you can stop. You ever seen The Walking Dead? You gotta make sure that the head's destroyed. Yeah, alright, I'll stop. You could just... You know, yeah, it's fine. I'm pretty sure that thing's still alive. It's moving. Maybe we gotta sever its head? Oh, never mind, it's gone. I think that's enough of our time. Why was there... No, because why was there a zombie? Now I have to have a, a hooded man expect here. Yeah. Sweet. I'll go to them and I'll report this. Don't bother. If he's most likely, knowing him, he's been watching us the entire time. Absolutely. I guarantee you... Uh, Hold on, let me, um, give it about, uh, wait, when, not yet. Five, four, three, two, Jack's here.
Alright. Uh, much to say. I found... I found... Agent Dumb... And Rich Dumb together. What do you... You've got the attention span of a fucking man. <laughs> There's a fish over here! Don't go in that <laughs> water! Do you know how to swim? I, I know. Get feeling what do you mean I know how to swim? I'm investigating. Investigating what? The zombie that just showed up? No. I'm sniffing the air. Type 36. I'll be back later. God damn it. What the hell's a Type 36? What is he talking about? I don't know. God, I wish I did. You have blood all over your face. That's normal nowadays. Well. So why don't we put our differences aside to us and agree that the best course of action is to work together for the time being. To do what? It's not like we're going to do anything to Jack, Biff, Eddie, any of them. I've done my best to control them, but that's not very working very well when they have literal RPG nukes. There's a certain set of things that the CIA has under our belt to not control them, but rein them in when they're getting a bit rambunctious. And how are you going to do that? By taking their free will away? Oh, absolutely not. No, I'll just shoot him with a molecular rearranger. Yeah, and then you're gonna. And what happens when Jack gets mad and starts shooting random nukes off because you shot I'd him in shoot the face? Ken before he shoots the nuke off. It's pretty easy to catch up to him. He's not that fast. He can teleport, and no clip will say through reality. Yes, and I understand that, but here's the same thing Eddie's given me those technologies as well. He is literal Superman, as is Biff, or Terrence, as you called him. It's just easier to call him by that. Although, strangely enough, he doesn't like it when I say that. Because he doesn't Luke want people knowing who he was. Of course he doesn't. No one would want that. Especially the shit we did to him. Oh, so you're, you, you people think you're the ethical heroes. Sorry to burn you. I Burst never said bubble. this game was ethical. I just said we do things you, in the name of the good. You aren't the heroes of the story. No. I don't even know who the hero is of this story. But by the looks yeah. of things, as of now, it's the abnormal containment team who are at least fighting off these monsters. Yeah. We're fighting off zombies that just show up. You know, it's weird. Everywhere they go... Death and destruction always seems to follow them. Yeah. Which is strange, considering I think it... You heard that, right? I sure did. Alright. What's the situation? Oh. That... Another one of these things. Great. That can't be good. And it's is just dead? another... Yeah, well... It's as dead as it's gonna get. Uh, are there any others? I have no friggin' clue. What is this? Um, don't go down there. That is none of your- God damn it. Take back what I said about us being trusting of each other. That man is stuck in the wall. Oh. Ow. You know, he's stuck in the wall somewhere else now. I built these tunnels to do experiments. Okay, you think I great. wasn't going to test that technology? Were your experiments in creating undead? No, they were not. Hey, I killed one. You really do have to blow the head off. I told you! Although, strangely enough, I didn't think of God damn it. It's how fine. many how much did you do? I didn't make these. Someone's obviously using my lab for something else. Well maybe we should, you know, get in on that. 
try and figure out who that is. Oh, well, we... your friend's back. Well, technically, he's under my employer. No, you gotta fight the zombies. No, don't just stand. Oh, he's an idiot. Are you doing alright, Mr. Thumper? Yes, I'm doing alright. This is a lot nicer than what we normally do. Why is that? Because I don't have to worry about dying the entire time. These things are slow and stupid. You don't have to di worry about dying anyways. Yes, that's true, but I still don't like dying. Oh, he's back. So, uh, Type 47, I was wrong. That doesn't mean anything to us. Oh, it means everything to me, though. It's a Type 47. Oh, yeah, great. Don't go down there. The greater concern, mm -hmm. however, is exactly what's causing these things to spawn. Because I'm not sure if... if Dude, there's graffiti on this wall! There's no graffiti on this that wall. That you can see is with invisible ink. My eyes are attuned to things. Also, look at these cool boxes. Alright, yep. Don't worry, when you get the time to study the zombies, I will be here. Oh, Eddie's already doing that. Where are they coming from is my problem. Ah, oh, son of a bitch, go to it's hell. It's fine, you don't have to worry about it. Sure, I don't have to worry about it. We'll have a tactical airstrike bomb the place. No, no, Jack, that's Jeez. not that's not a good idea. You have the money, you can fix it. Hey, do you look how many fish are in this water? Don't worry, I'll just do all the work here. I don't think he left again. I don't think he's gonna be any help. No, he's not. Because these things are goddamn everywhere, and he doesn't want to, you know, be bothered to do anything about it. I'm what gonna you try. Sit down here. I'm going to try and call a supervisor. Okay. Is that all right? You do whatever the hell you want. All right, I'm going to call my super. I'm going to try and call some allies of mine, and uh, um, he, your your boy's back. What do you mean, <laughs> zombie? Yeah, zombie There's dead. A um, I'm still up. I'm not down there with you, zombie. Zombie neutralized. Zombie not neutralized. Zombie Could neutralized. We? Oh god, Crimson Head. Crimson Head. Crimson Head. Out of my way. Crimson Head. Where'd Cash go? Oh, he's still- he's up. He's looking for his- friend. he's out there. You can go see him. He's Hi. literally right here. Make, making sure nothing comes out of the tunnel. I'm just doing my job, so get the hell out of my way. Doing our job? Oh, I mean my job. Hold on, where's where did I put that nuke? Got it. Where is the nuke? Don't nuke the goddamn. Where is place. the nuke? Oh, an RPG that works. Sure. Ow, crimson head bad. That didn't work. What the hell? Oh no, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Wait, is that an explosive barrel? No. Haha, -ha, you like missed. Haha, uh -huh, you're dead. But that's just me. Investigate? I'm just gonna nuke the place. Hey, stand back, would you? Yeah, you deal with that. Alright, who wants some? None of you die. You know what? Emergency. User dead. No. <sighs> what was that? Do not worry. Um. Doing yeah, I'm my job. Work. Just doing my job. Doing my job. <sighs> Have you seen any other zombies? Good old sure. thumper. Oh, there's a bunch. <laughs> You know what? I've had enough of this. Doing my job. Doing no, my no, no, job. No. Doing my job. 
doing my job. Doing my job. My job. My job is done. Zombies neutralized. Well, it certainly was. Yep. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a new applicant. Jack, Rip. could you not destroy stuff? Where'd Kevin go? He was out here, wasn't he? Where'd he go? Maybe he left. I guess he went to see Bertram, but... Um, are you happy? I dealt with your problem. Kevin told me you were- One of you survived! Are you okay? I can't be having this. Could you just... Who the hell do you think you are? I shot a grenade at the zombie. You can obviously survive it. You're fine. Oh! Ah. A job well done. God, one of these days you're gonna get shot in the kidney. And oh no, he's it. still alive. A job well done. You said that the last, like, four or five times. I'm just gonna go find their boss. You sit there and you wait, okay? Jesus. When did my life become such a fucking shit show? Also, I was watching you and Kevin. You people are messing with things you don't understand. You should really stay out of my work and out of my way. You should be a normal human being for ten seconds. Well, I'm not a human being, so I guess I've got you beat there, huh? You're the equivalent of an intergalactic terrorist. But that's not my position to judge. There you Stop. are. I knew you'd show up if I killed your friends. Now's my chance to bring you in for studying. Study? Yeah, study! Well, don't worry, because there's more time for that game. You know what? I don't have time for this. He's tanking my gun. That's not possible. Obviously it is if he did it. And stay dead. Now if you excuse me, I have literal Satan to thwart, so if you don't mind. Lucifer's oh. a real pain. Satan does. What? I said God doesn't exist. God exists, just not the Christian God. <laughs> oh, what the, that was you, I thought, wh the, whoops. Thanks. That was and not. his name isn't Satan, his name is Lucifer. Whatever. He's on Earth by the name of Lucius, so I just haven't been able to hunt him down. You have all the technology on Earth capable of locating a single human being, and you can't locate one man. No, I can't find the devil himself. You're right. Well, I'm just saying it doesn't sound like you're trying hard enough. I mean, I haven't really tried, so... It's not really my problem, is it? This isn't my planet. Why am I spe- You know, sometimes I question and I, I sit and I awake in bed and I ask, What the hell am I doing with my life? Why am I spending my time defending the planet when you people literally want to arrest and study me? Because you're an insane megalomaniac with a history of violence. I am not, jerk. You say this to me. Don't ever insult me again. I think I just had one of my impulse. Oh, I gotta go lay down. I feel sick. Hey, do you know anyone named- before I leave, you're well- y you know a lot of people, right? Do you know anyone named Buddy Guy? He keeps applying to my- my- uh, my- my team, so. Uh, I mean, he hasn't showed up on our radar, I'm guessing he's just a normal dude. So I should hire him and let him risk his life and throw it, everything he has away to fight monsters. 
Thank you for your insight. I, I, no, whatever. I'm going to stop you when you got your mind hit on something. Hey, I have a question. What? What's the CIA stand for? I need to know I'm bombing the right building. Yeah. Why are you bothering fighting Zon- Well, it's time to do what I do best. Kill things. Don't worry, I will s I'll get rid of the stupid zombies. You'll thank me when I'm done. Thank you, Eddie, for inventing the Davy Crockett. Why am I doing this? got the equivalent of a, a golden gun. Problem solved. They're dead, right? Most of them. There's probably still one or two that are bombing around down there, but... I'll solve that. No. No need to. Thank... What? I don't have any... I didn't get more ammo? Guess not. Ammo. It's not working. Oh, it is. It's just broken. There. We should probably get out of here. Just saying. We can survive nuclear fallout. And yes. I have to... At the same and time. And I've designed a nuke that doesn't harm the surviving... Ah! We've also got a suspicious, strange group of people that have no business being here but are creating zombies. Maybe yeah. that would be a thing the ACT could look into. Are you asking me to defend... You're actually entrusting me to defend your planet. Sure. I'm just suggesting what we should do as our next course of action. A simple, you Don't know, you work for the CIA? Yes, but I also work for ACP now, obviously. Otherwise, you would have killed me and left me. Well, you gotta learn how to clean up your messes. I shouldn't have to come and see you. You didn't. You well, obviously, I did. I killed and wiped out the facility. Yes, but I had it under control, and then you showed up and decided the best course of action was to... Hey, before I, before I leave, I need to talk to you. Do you know my daughter and your daughter are suddenly best friends? I don't remember this happening, and they're also best friends with Eddie's daughter, and I don't know if I'm okay with this. You don't I... seem to like anything to do with me being having anything to do with you, and I don't know how you feel about... Not just my kid, but Eddie's kid and your kid con continuously hanging out constantly. I can't control her, so I just let her go about her day. If it I can! Mind probes do wonders! You mind probe my daughter, and I rearrange your molecules into a fucking cat. Yeah, oh, I'm scared. It's not like I'll just die and come back. Yes, but it'll hurt the entire time that happens. What are we doing here? We dealt with I'm immune to physical, you know what? Never mind. You've shot me in the face before, and you're ta telling me you think things will hurt. I obviously can't feel that kind of pain. Well, I didn't plan on showing up here. I was going to let Kevin do his thing with you, because he, he promised me he'd get you to leave me alone, but obviously he didn't do what he, I told him to. Okay, should we be worrying about the fact that there's literally a zombie creation science lab right under our fucking feet? <laughs> this is obviously a problem that the ACT should look into. It's not a problem, but I don't know. The, the football game's gonna be on soon. I'm gonna oh, boo see. Boo. How about this? If you, you know, take control of this. Get out of my way. Pretty sure the people with the, you know, with the NFL would be super happy. Gonna just gonna go to the lab and blow it up. Yes, but this is obviously not the only lab. <sighs> Fine, Biff. I'm gonna call what? Biff. It's our day off, and this guy's trying to make us work. What fucking guy's trying to make- Sh I will kick his goddamn ass! This CIA guy is whining to me, and he's making us work. Well, oh. 
asshole McGillicuddy? Yeah, him. Well, I can't exactly do shit about it. Uh, can you, like, erase him from existence or something? Oh, okay, wait, he can hear me. Uh, go stand over yeah, there in the corner. Okay. How about you go kill yourself? How about that one? Alright. Why don't you, why don't we just relax for a little bit? Oh, my fucking god. It's like corralling children in here. Jesus. Yeah, I feel better. Thanks, Wait. Biff. I forgot death does solve my impulses, so what are we talking about? Nothing. We were talking about- Hey, there's a zombie outbreak. We should probably deal with that. Yeah, probably. Oh, we're gonna miss the fucking Steelers. Ah, oh, son of a tit. We'll have Allison, you know, the angel child, my angel child, because your kid just plays on her phone all damn day. Have Allison record it. I can, I can control my wife or I can control my daughter. I can't do both. What do you mean control your wife? I swear to God, if she had her way around the house, it would be spotless. It already is spotless. Her and Madison, do, have you seen Madison when she, that's terrifying. Yeah, the fact that you're afraid of your wife is pretty funny. No, you don't understand what she'll do if she doesn't get her way. What, no sex for a month? You're already not having sex, dumbass. I have sex every day. What are you Can talking about? Can we focus about? on the more important <laughs> issue of the zombie lab? Shut your mouth, you secret agent, <laughs> son of a bitch. We're discussing important matters. We'll get to the- your Wives. We'll yeah, get to your disturbing, mind? trivial earth matters in a minute. Good fucking god. Anyway, the point is, Biff, she could, she could not cook me dinner. We all know I can't cook for myself. And then, and she'll beat me up. She is a master in all forms of martial arts. After it, Taekwondo. And she's but stronger than the Hulk, and I don't want her beating me up because I was a bad boy. Here's the funny thing. You have a fucking gun. I'm not shooting, but what kind of scumbag? Okay, chives. I'm just saying, you're afraid of your wife when you have the power to stop your wife from kicking your ass. Any self-respecting man is afraid of his wife. It's their way or the highway, every man knows that. Not with my wife. Oh please. Are... I see you bend over backwards trying to clean her the room for her. Don't make me laugh. What the hell are you talking about? I'm surprised the secret agent guy isn't flipping out. He's just sitting here listening to this. Yeah, and I'm kind of... Oh losing. my god, Biff, I got Nemesis's body! Biff, we can study, I've got it! No fucking way. I have actual... Where'd Rick Thumper go? I'm... Obviously not in here. Can you can you come outside? Where is that? Wh I'm There's outside the tunnel. Outside. I'm up by the, the, the oh, silo thingies. Holy shit. Oh my god, Biff, you're here. He left. I caught Nemesis's body. Yeah, I feel like we should look into that. We can make a vaccine for the zombie virus using this. Come on, Nemi. Purple. What do you mean? Look at his blood, it's purple. Maybe he it's uh, grape soda. Go taste some. I'm not gonna lick up that shit. Fine. I like the equivalent of AIDS. It tastes like sunflowers. How the hell do you know what a sunflower tastes like? No, not Earth Sunflower. Satari. Never mind. No. Yeah, you gotta specify, because, you know, you're a fucking space alien. Okay, Terrence. Let's not go into backstory. Well, I mean, no offense, but I'm from Earth, so. Shit's normal to me. You and me are going to Satari. Oh. Where oh. the hell are we? Oh, oh, I I'll solve that. Just set the respawn point with the gun to home, alright? Stand close to me. Oh. Do you think that agent record? I'm surprised that agent hasn't recorded any. You know, he could really just prove himself, but I mean, he's an idiot, so it's fine. <laughs>